are your tomatoes doing this and not this then you might need a tomato trellis so today i'll be making my tomato trellis out of some old zinc loom that i had lying around from a shed that i salvaged first you want to decide on the design of your trellis i'm going for a four corner design uh, with four braces at the top and the bottom so first you want to mark out on one of your lengths equal increments so that you can cut it to size without any waste here we go all right so we've cut all our pieces to size with extras to spare i figured out if i make a little slit just along here we'll get something like that. Now it's just a matter of marking out where on your trellis you want your cross sections. I'd suggest halfway up's a good point for one of them. So on one, which are 1500, I'm going 750. And then I'm going 200 from the top. Because remember, you can <clears throat> have wire between these are just the supports and then we're going to rivet them together so um, 3.2 millimeter drill bit 3.2 millimeter rivets um, and you're just drilling straight through both pieces at the same time and joining them together with a rivet gun Side two. To join the two sections together, you're gonna need to make something like that. To give our trellis some pyramidal inward shape we're going to make these top ones slightly shorter than the rest which will give it that structure so there's one more thing we're going to do we're going to chop the bottom edges into a point so that we can put it into the ground easily. There you have it. 
all you need to do is drill some holes. Um, I will be wiring it just in the larger gaps. If you want to train your tomatoes with string, throw a bit of wire across here and then tie your string off so you can pull the top of the tomato plant up. Fully wired up and ready to go. So now we just need to train some tomatoes. Here's another design of a trestle that I made for tomatoes as well. So we just slide him over the top. Careful not to interfere too much with the branches. And feed all of the stems up through so that they're all being supported. It's not so critical now that the plant isn't in fruit, but once the plant's fruiting, you want all of the fruiting branches to be supported. So now we'll train it. To train tomatoes, you want to use jute twine, tie it around one of the strongest stems, three rows down from the top, and then you want to attach this end to the top where you've wired the central section. And every 10 days or so, you want to come along and shorten that length, which will give it the most space to photosynthesize and fruit. I hope you enjoyed the video, guys. Make sure you click the like button down below and subscribe if you haven't already. Ucho.